Hi folks. A lot of people were asking me because I got a few people that are on the borderline. What's the difference between a survivalist and a prepper? Well, first big mistake that most preppers do. I got my book out bag on the floor. You never put your bug out bag on the floor. And two, is it waterproof? If I could take your bag and throw it into the swimming pool, is it waterproof? Is the contents inside watertight? Okay, if it soaks through and it's soggy, you did something wrong. Okay, easy as pie. And if it's this small, it's a go bag, not a bug out bag. Seriously, folks. And also, you should have a helmet. Some kind of light. See? Why? Because the helmet prevents you from knocking your head in the dark. And you have some kind of light to look around. Okay, let's take that off. Oops, sorry. All right. Easy setup. And next thing, you want to have a pair of shoes next to your bed. Because I treat a lot of lacerated feet and people wandering around in nervous. Okay. Now, the bug out bag should be for a woman from 19 to 25 pounds of material. Should be easy to carry and it's worth for three days on the move. All right. You're moving from point A to point B. A go bag is just to get home or get out of there or move it. It's a bolt bag, go bag, whatever you call it. Has to be watertight. You could get waterproof bags about the same size, has straps and a retaining hook. Okay. It's easy. All right, it's not rocket science. Watertight bag, you see uh, Hubble's cat, he had one. Several other channels we discussed this, but a lot of preppers overlook that. If your go bag or little go, uh, bug out bag or whatever, can you throw it into a swimming pool or a lake, watch it sink down and pull it back out? Would your stuff will be so totally dry? And half of you say no, because I know why you didn't pack it that way. You weren't thinking. Two, don't leave your bug out bag on the floor. Why? Because Uncle Alan's old and he'll trip over it. Should be on a hook, on a table, ready to go to grab. Not on the floor. That's the biggest mistake. A lot of preppers, beginner preppers, repeat this over and over again. Okay? Has to be watertight. If you have stuff in there, lose. Not in a plastic bag, not sealed in a plastic bag. Get one. Two, never put food in cardboard boxes. Because if you have, like Heidi did, have a leak in the house, or like I did, have about 11 feet of water, your stuff is going to be ruined. Luckily, my stuff I was half ruined, and the other half floated away. Okay, now, let's see. Uh, again, uh, your uh, bug out bag or go bag, is it waterproof? That's the main concern right now. And let's see. Never on the floor. Make sure it's on a hook or on a table where it's easy to pick up and go. You never want it on the floor. If it's on the floor, you made the world's biggest mistake, and that primes you as a prepper, not a survivalist. Survivalists would never have it on the floor. And if he did, he needs his head examined. Okay, that's a big difference between a survivalist and a prepper. If it's on the floor, all right, that points out, again, Are you a survivalist or a prepper? Prepper thinks they can get a bunch of stuff, put it in a bag, and everything's wonderful. Wrong. Everything will go wrong. You will die if you don't follow proper steps. 
okay? Can you carry it? Your weight limitation. And is it waterproof? Okay, not watertight or water resistant, waterproof. If I dump the whole thing into a swimming pool and it sinks to the bottom, is it waterproof or is it not? Okay, think about that, folks, and I'll catch you later.